New this morning, a new look at which California neighborhoods are getting hit the hardest as the state's largest insurer announces plans not to renew some home insurance policies. Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell joins us live in Contra Costa County this morning. And Bob, I understand the city of Orinda is bearing the brunt of most of this move. You're in uh, unfortunately, you are correct. Good morning to you, Laura. According to the San Francisco numbers that they have uh, chronicled, according to numbers they have obtained, State Farm will be canceling 1,703 homeowner insurance policies here in the town of Rinda. That's 55% of their policies here in this town, and that represents the, the largest number for one single zip code. You can see on this map we put together uh, in nearby Lafayette, they're going to have almost 1,000 policies canceled there uh, down in the South Bay and the zip code that represents parts of Santa Clara and Santa Cruz counties. Oh, just over a thousand policies and then up north in the North Bay. Uh, there's a couple of zip codes in Santa Rosa and other parts of Sonoma County and that represents about 1400 policies. Last month State Farm issued a written statement explaining its decision to no longer write new policies for new California homes and to end coverage for about 50,000 existing California customers. The statement reads quote this decision was not made lightly and only after careful analysis of State Farm General's financial health which can continues to be impacted by inflation, catastrophe exposure, reinsurance costs, and limitations of working within decades-old insurance regulations. Homeowners who live in areas at high risk of catastrophes like wildfires will have to buy into the California Fair Plan. That is subsidized by the state of California. It is expensive and only offers fire coverage. Last month, we talked to a nonprofit research group about the growing problem of non-renewals in fire and densely populated zones here in the state. The group says insurers have been losing money due to California premium limits and that for every dollar insurance companies receive in premiums here, a dollar eight is spent on paying out claims primarily due to wildfires. The Insurance Information Institute, that's that group I was referring to, says the California Department of Insurance is updating regulations that could bring more policy options at competitive prices back to the state. That would mean being able to charge what is commonly known as actuarially sound rates, something that's not occurring today. But the Institute says it could take a few years for the California homeowners insurance industry to stabilize here in the state, even after those new laws are enacted. Reporting live here in Orinda, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.